you know, I come from a background of audio systems engineering, and we say choose the right speaker, put it in the right place, and point it in the right direction. Uh, a microphone is also a transducer, as is a speaker. The same rule kind of applies. If you put the microphone, choose the right microphone, put it in the right place, and point it in the right direction, you've done a big part of the job before you ever get to your console. 4055 has been a, let's just say, wow. That was a, a huge uh, instant change for us. Uh, you know, we'd always been using at one time or another one of the kind of big three kick drum mics that you think of, right, when you think kick drum mic. And they all kind of have a pre-baked in sound or a pre-baked EQ due to some property of the mic. Uh, and this is kind of what we know a kick drum to sound like, right? It's a manufactured sound. You know, you listen to a kick drum, at least in heavy metal music especially, you don't hear all the crazy attack and you definitely don't feel that you could have your cigarette lighter blown out by the kick drum. This is manufactured with EQ and large hangs of subwoofers. Uh, so this manufactured sound, it really lends itself to one of these microphones. However, it was sort of a new way of thinking almost that you could have a kick drum microphone with no pre-baked EQ. Uh, and it's a blank canvas to paint on. Uh, and they really do sound fantastic. It was an immediate change that the band really enjoyed on stage as well. Uh, we've got two of them inside the kick drums, uh, double bass if you will. Uh, they're mounted on a Kelly shoe system. So it's maybe uh, one third to two fifths the way up off the bottom of the drum directly in the center in this shock mount. Uh, and we're not blending it with any, any other mic. So it's, that's it. It's a nice, clean, transient. It's everything you could ever want. So we've also got a, a third 4055 on the drum kit. We've got a gong drum that was added just for the European leg of this tour. We just got it. This is show number three with it. Uh, and it's just here behind me. You can see there's no bottom head on this drum. Uh, and let me tell you, when he hits this thing, it rocks the house. Back in the day, this band was a lot louder on stage. Monitor wedges, side fills, amp cabs, all that stuff for the most part still exists except for the side fills, but it's a little more toned down and the band's using in-ears now. So that SPL change from the stage has facilitated a little bit of us being able to switch to condenser mics from Dynamics. That higher sensitivity is allowed, should I say, more or less. Uh, and then at the same time, we moved some of the drums, particularly on the toms, the mics from the inside of the drums to the outside of the drums, which was a change I had been wanting to make. Uh, and then as soon as we had done that with some dynamic mics for the first time, I was like, okay, it's time to reach for the 4099s. It's really a thing about having a blank slate. Uh, what comes in goes out. All of this plays into making the right decisions. It really is about choosing the right mic, putting it in the right place, and pointing it in the right direction. And if you do this up front, because this is the first thing in your signal chain, uh, it all comes into making something that sounds more natural, more in your face, more visceral, more powerful, uh, and overall better experience for the audience. But another thing that's important in this case is the look on the stage. Uh, from some of the B-roll footage that's been shot today, you might see that all the monitor wedges are hidden under grill decks. There's no lights across the front of the stage. It's all about this really clean look. So big overhead mics, particularly several of them, would be something that would be frowned upon. Uh, but yeah, it's really, honestly, it's about the look and being able to get that mic in that place. That's one thing that's really unique about the 4099 is if you can dream it, there's a clip for it, uh, it which has really been fantastic uh, to be able to be super flexible and where we can clip it to, what we can clip it to, and how we can attach things in a really secure and robust manner. Uh, that's been big.